Welcome to Peculiar Occurrences. I am your host, Lil Nova. Well, sometimes in the deepest, darkest part of YouTube and the internet, you find something so peculiar that it gives you the chills. <sighs> seriously, this this seriously gave me the chills, for real. Tonight's episode, it's gonna be just like that. Tonight. We are going to be exploring the peculiar side of YouTube with a Polish channel that can only be translated into the magic world of Anya. And as much as I wish this was a kiddie show as the name would suggest, it's nowhere near that. As a matter of fact, this peculiar occurrence is not for kids at all. Let's get into it. Now, I've never seen a Polish web series, but hopefully they're not all like this one. I have done a lot of research into this one and watched the entire series in full. With translated subtitles turned on, of course. I will say, the series itself is very hypnotizing. There is very little to no dialogue, and it's done in a very artistic manner that leaves you hypnotized and with a very creepy feeling. The about section on the YouTube page will also leave you with a very disturbing and creepy feeling. And it's written in both Dutch and English. It reads, Missing person Anya Slovinski. Anya was reported missing on May 29, 1993. She was 20 years old, Dutch language and literature student. She was last seen on 27 May 1993 at her flat. Anya is 165 centimeters tall, straight blonde hair with fringe and blue eyes. To date, she has not contacted her family or friends. If you have any information regarding Anya Slavinsky, please contact us immediately. That alone immediately puts a whole new spin on this web series. One weird thing I notice is it says she was a Dutch student, Dutch language student, and one of the descriptions is written in Dutch. The about section gives the feeling of, of these videos being made by someone trying to find Anya, yet the videos themselves seems to be telling Anya's story, as if she may be alive and her captors may have created this web series to flaunt their story or or her herself created this web series to tell her story the opening scene starts out strange with a picture full of people each one being turned a blood red until there is only one girl left the one that we can only assume is Anya then it quickly changes scenes to a woman in a mask who is the star of most of the videos and we can only assume that she is the representation of Anya. This channel was started September 6, 2017 and as of this recording has eight uploads. They have actually added two videos in the last two weeks since I discovered this channel. People on Reddit have tried to search Anya Slavinsky's name in the Polish missing persons database so far I've came up with nothing yet throughout the series we hear random news interviews with Anya's friends and family perhaps Anya was not living in Poland when she went missing the first episode is called bone crystallization and it's pretty much what you just saw the description reads the bones crystallize only under the conditions of true love you find out right away in video one that this is a puzzle to be solved. With strange shots of our supposed Anya staring right into the camera and then turning creepily away and walking back into a cornfield. Then we find her laying almost lifeless on the ground, then a shot of a random pawn. All the while, the shots flicker. 
to random shots of a bow of blood and guts or something of the manner full of maggots. Then before ending, we get our first real strange clue. Morse code can be heard. The letters P O M O Z M. This is Sylvanian for help me. The videos leave you questioning so much. Could this be Anya herself? Could this be her kidnappers telling her story? To taunt her or anyone that may know her. In episode 2, we get our first hint that this could be very real. There is a lot of strange imagery just like in episode 1. While you hear a call to emergency services by a woman named Christina. She tells them that Anya has gone missing and then gives them Anya's personal information such as her age and birth date. Then again at the end of this video we get another clue. A set of numbers that when decoded spell out the word Tumblr. When you go to the Tumblr it actually has a newspaper describing Anya going missing. Then back to the video, you then hear a news report informing everyone that Anya had gone missing. You then see the masked representation of Anya take a few steps backwards, jump up, and then just disappear. With a male voice saying, I, I couldn't hurt her. The story and strange images continue throughout the next few episodes. Showing such things like a creepy man admiring creepy broken dolls. All while you hear an interview with Christina about how Anya was almost abducted as a small child by a cult and that her mother believed that she had been stalked by this cult her entire life. Her mother also thought due to this Anya may have been dating someone inappropriate. Then another interview with another family member talks about a hobo who lived in a hut in the area near the forest and how she may have been taken by him stating Anya was always such a, such a good girl, such a, such a pretty girl. Then goes on to insinuate that Anya may have been involved in a lust murder due to it. We also saw a lot more clues through the next few videos, such as the word hallucination, and encoded links to another YouTube video, where a different dark-haired masked woman can be found saying human, human bodies, bodies its atoms and molecules, molecules you die and, and absolutely, absolutely nothing changes We also found more decoded Tumblr pages, which held more clues to this peculiar occurrence. Then we come to episode 5, and I really want to talk about this one because the imagery around it really suggests some sort of cult or religion. The episode is called Supreme Being, which depicts a hand grabbing at a paper heart. Then this peculiar scene with two women and a man with an apple raised towards the sun smiling then suddenly their heads fall off or are cut off the video ends with the mask representation of Anya on the ground frantically trying to scurry away from the camera
in episode 6 called Disembodiedness of the Dead Things. Seems to show the life they may be living now. You see what seems to be shacks, but is described as temples. Each temple shack having a name above it, and a masked girl living in it. I think this scene is very remnants of underground slavery and underground sex rings, especially with the one scene of a woman grabbing her stomach as if she were pregnant. The man with the camera seems to be giving a tour to another man. The other man asked, are these your girlfriends? Then we hear the cameraman answer, I'm not into such things. Then the end is the strange shots of a dark haired woman losing her teeth, then falling to the ground and weeds overgrowing her body and bringing her back and making her part of the earth again. There is then more strange shots of skulls in an outside shower. Then a shot of the back of the head of a woman who had claimed to have found Anya's diary and pictures in the trash. Video then gives another code for another Tumblr page that shows video of Anya's diary. In episode 7, we are given strange imagery of legs coming up out of the ground, along with images of teeth and an imagery of what looks like an old commercial and then imagery of a show playing on a TV set. Now, and that was about it for episode 7. Episode 8. Now the last episode, episode 8, came out on YouTube on February 1st, 2018. Probably about, probably about two weeks before this video will come out. This video is called, What the Eye does not see. This one gets really, really strange. You're going to have to stay with me on it. I ended up noticing something very strange about it. The first thing you are presented with is a shot of space, with the word cosmos, written in Greek, followed by the word nature, written in Italian, followed by the word magic, written in Spanish, then the word aura, written in English, the word Anya, written in Turkish, and the word world in Hungarian. I found it very strange that each and every word was in a different language. Not exactly sure what that's supposed to be, but perhaps, maybe, maybe it's a clue to Anya's journey. Maybe she was taken far away from the original place where she was grabbed. Maybe she's been taken to all, all these countries that the languages show. It really does give me the chills. Um, the video then goes on to show all this strange imagery that are very hypnotizing. With a man with bleeding eyes doing some sort of ritual. According to subtitle translate, it seemed to be a ritual for energy. Someone say Illuminati? Joking, joking. Uh, not really going. Uh, <laughs> then there is like the most disturbing scene of all, and that's a scene of a man's hand. It is pouring rain right now. <laughs> it just started pouring rain. That is, that's kind of making this even more creepy. It just started pouring. Hopefully, you guys don't hear it, but it is pouring rain right now. Um, yeah, next came the creepiest part of all. Okay, guys. Which was a shot of a man's hand back in that bow of blood and guts and maggots. And he's playing with it this time. And they do such an extreme close-up to seemingly to show you that these maggots are very real and they're crawling all over his hands. It was disgusting. It was nasty. It really... It about made me sick and it kind of really freaked me out scared me a bit because that was not an effect there's no way that was an effect that was real meat of some sort that was real maggots
And while you're watching this, all the while you hear a woman's voice saying a series of numbers that I personally have not figured out the decoding to yet. Perhaps someone else that watches this can decode it. Let me know down below. I couldn't find it on Reddit either, so. After that, there's all these strange images of a woman with her hair in her face. Doing kind of a strange dance or movement. All the while, you hear a woman doing an interview about how she had cancer and cured it. Then it switches to shots of what looks like a creepy basement. The basement had been seen in previous episodes. Then you hear the sound of an old day out of order telephone with this strange cartoon of a family arguing with a child. Then a strange cartoon of woods. Then all these crystals lighting up to the beat of the music. One suddenly falls to the floor and breaks, sending its magic out the window. Then you hear what sounds like footsteps and the sound of a jail cell door opening up. It then cuts to a lineup where a woman identifies the fourth person in line. The video then cuts to a shot of some mountains with more encoded numbers. The video then ends with a shot of a man in a gas mask and it seems like he has a gas mask stuck on his head and he can't get it off. <sighs> that was a lot but that's all eight episodes. Well I kind of missed some. If you want to see it go check it out. Um, there's a lot of theories behind this, and we're going to go into that next, okay? Like, there are a lot of theories flying around about this on Reddit. About how this could be linked to a real-life missing person. Or a real-life murder. There's also been other strange theories, like the cult theory, and the underground sex ring theory. There's also a theory that this is all just a statement, like some sort of fashion statement, or a statement about self-worth. Um, and society as a whole. And how a lot of people seem to feel ostracized from society. Or perhaps we have a Polish lonely girl on our hands. And none of this is even real at all. <sighs> what do you think it is? Could it be some weird sex ring, a kidnapping? Is this real? Is this all just made up for views? Is, do we got a fake lonely girl on our hand? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But it is certainly intriguing. And I keep finding myself going back there and seeing if they post more. Because, well, this could possibly be real or not. It's really hard to tell. Either way, it is extremely peculiar. So, you know I had to talk about it. If you like this video and you want to see more like this, give me a thumbs up as well. If you like me, hit that subscribe button. Hit it. Hit it. I need to hit 1K. Hit it. Hit it now. Please. <laughs> also, hit that little bell button while you're there so uh, you'll know when I upload. As well, you can also follow me on Twitter at LilithNova1. And... I just opened up a Peculiar Occurrence merch store. So if you'd like some Peculiar Occurrence merch gear, I'll have that link for you down below. Until next time, keep your eyes peeled for all things peculiar. Do 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 do
My merch store is now online. You can find shirts, coffee mugs, iPhone cases, pillows, and much, much more. A peculiar occurrence fan? Then check out my merch store made especially for you with merch just for peculiar occurrences. Links in the description box below. Thank you. Are you listening? Damn. Uh. Yeah.